we getting to another episode of uh, how to elevate your style sorry and this is gonna be dedicated to the k-pop and how you can infuse that style into your own personal style if it's a part of your personality like i said it all starts with you Welcome back to my channel, salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne Hola, bienvenue dans mon canal, konnichiwa, watashino channel oni yokoso This is gonna be another day, another week and another episode of me We're gonna dive deep into K-pop style and what and how you can use it into your own style without having to look like all the next level type of looks that you can see out there Girl Generation 21, you can inspire yourself from them but you don't have to have the other look normal people that we all are you know at some levels at some point i'm lady tomo i'm a style coach and i'm dedicated passionate about helping creative soul women entrepreneur uncover the style amplify their video presence so that they can show up being confident and get the business to the next level the most authentic way it's important to know that when it comes to korean when it comes to japanese culture i grew up with it because i was addicted to animes and i'm still addicted to animes i mean there's no age for it i think i was 10 11 when i started learning japanese by myself because i started watching the animes and i love the language i love the beautiful tone behind the japanese I started trying or starting dressing up into kawaii fashion style or Japanese style which is focused on being a little bit more the baby girl looking like a doll this is why I still have this name up until today it's kawaii girl when it comes to Korean now they have what they call a liu a liu is much more a form of being feminine the cute girl a bit like kawaii but much more I would say adult you know but she's not gonna look like she's too done up so she's gonna be super cute the treat and a part of the Korean Asian beauty in general. The dress, the way they were combining pieces, which is pretty much unique. That's how I got into the Japanese pop first, and I was probably 13, 15, and then I dove deep into the Korean pop way before BTS was popular because I mean, they've existed since the 90s korean pop embrace the cute feminine baby girl look that's the whole picture behind the k-pop you know what i mean and korean pop of course it's much more intense and you have a lot of different looks it all comes down to being cute it all comes down to being the pretty the feminine girl doesn't mean that you have nothing in the brain it just means that you love embracing your femininity in a really cute way you the innocent girl probably personality coming from you it has to be a part of your personality or a part of your evolution wherever you want to go growing up my personality were a bit like that i'm much less the femme fatale where i go with my own looks it's usually cute maybe treat side from time to time but super super cute and still playing that kind of feminine cute girl on the ages side bit of a combination here i love it girl and the feminine girl if i want to all the vibe you're gonna have when it comes to your own videos they're gonna be translated into that it's gonna be your own branding your own image and people they're gonna know your personality based on that as well the first thing is the pastel colors pastel colors are amazing for spring obviously because it's literally a new life after winter baby blue baby pink are great when you want to play that way so if you want to infuse that in your personal side think about those pastel colors vibrant colors nothing too dark I talked about the African swag all we tend to have a lot of warm colors intense colors rich colors the Korean gonna keep it into the pastel anything you're gonna wear when it comes to you being on videos has to be a bit pastel even around your decor everything you want to have has to be a light to get to have that vibe and the viewers they're gonna have that vibe coming from you another thing is to play with layering korean pop or korean style in general you're gonna see 
how amazing the combination of clothes could be. We're gonna do that, it's gonna be unique. So having a velvet top with let's say a denim jacket for example, it could be a great way to infuse something unexpected, something edgy but at the same time keep it fresh. When it comes to the dresses now, because it's a really big part of being feminine, you can layer and have a top underneath it. And it's been a trend for a while, that's what I feel it's been like. Korean women usually, they have a tendency to not show off their shoulders because it's not necessarily the most proper thing to do. Cover the shoulders as much as they can. So usually it's gonna be playing around with the layers. How you can really get to be creative is fun because it adds something interesting to the visual. When you see the video clip for BTS 21 girl generation, when it comes to the visual it's definitely to the perfection. That's the same thing when it comes to you showing up on videos and having to infuse that Korean pop vibe to you. Almost everything has to be perfect in a way where the colors they have to be right, the visual they have to be right. It's gonna have to be that cinematic experience, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be something simple, something laid back, something casual, Korean pop or Korean vibe or Korean style in general. It all comes down to a couple of things that could be unexpected or just combine in a certain way, a unique way. Which comes down to the street style. Street style where it's pretty big when it comes to Korean pop. Everything of a size is in cute and it could be sexy in a way because the girls are really pretty. A combination to have when you are on video it's maybe to have a sweatshirt along with a denim jacket. It represents a street style vibe a lot and a tone and have accessories that could be much more glam in a way. It's a total vibe. The pastel colors so you keep it fresh. When you talk to younger people it's a great way of conveying your messaging. Let's say the streetwear pieces and something maybe a little bit more dressy. Same thing goes with having a sweatshirt and then having a blazer. You know, having a plate blazer, having something much more structured. Keep it natural. <laughs> It could be unexpected when it comes to everything they're gonna wear, but when it comes to the makeup, it most of the time it's gonna be natural. Big accent onto the eyes, so the eyelashes, it could be a little bit bigger, which I love. The hair, you can play around with the colors, the most pastel colors ever. Keep everything basic. Keep an attention somewhere but not everywhere because you still want people to be focused on whatever you're gonna say, right? So play with combination of unexpected pieces together. I hope it was helpful for you and I have my soul and style alignment coaching program down there with all the details where you get to build up a capsule wardrobe that represents you the best way possible on top of being guided through having to show up on videos even more. I know it's hard, I know it's a struggle, I totally get it. That's why I offer monthly payment plans. Get to book your free discovery call with me and then we're gonna be able to know each other more and see where and how I can help you and best support you. Have my free Facebook group as well. All the details are gonna be down below as well. Full live training on to how to shop on videos using YouTube. My free Facebook group. You're gonna be able to have much more details than what you have here. So let me know what was your best take and let me know if you're a fan of Korean pop or if you're a fan of Japanese pop or if you're a fan of Asian in general, <laughs> Korean pop band. Let me know because there are so many. I used to listen to so many music from Korean pop like back in the day. So my classic, they're gonna be probably OG for you. <laughs> but I think Rain, TVXQ, back then was DBSK, Seven, Gakuto san that's Japanese. Ayumi Yamazaki is probably my first, first, first big crush when it comes to Japanese music. Miyavi. Oh my god, I have so many of them. Boa. So if you go beyond BTS that I love too, you're gonna have a lot of Korean bands, pretty much like. EXO. 90% of the time, this is what I was listening to, Japanese pop, Korean pop, all my teenage life. So that's why I'm like, Nothing new to me when people are getting excited about BTS. I'm like, they were there before. Let me know if you have other type of video suggestion that you want me to have here. And of course, follow me on Instagram because this is where you're gonna get a lot of confidence boosts, like protein shakes. J'espère que vous avez aimé la vidéo. J'espère que vous avez adoré la vidéo. Je pense que je me suis tellement amusée avec cette vidéo parce que j'adore, j'adore, j'adore. J'ai vécu avec la pop japonaise, la pop coréenne. I'm gonna see you for my next video and like I say all the time, keep smiling because it's free and contagious in a good way. Bye.